Hi guys, so we are in the car, or I should say I am in the car on my way to Home Depot. So I wanted to take you guys along. I am shopping for some of those transformations that we talked about um, on Friday. So I'm going to be updating my kitchen island. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of what it looks like now because I do need to change the color. I'm going to be going darker on my kitchen cabinets, which are now white. Um, so I can't have a dark island and a dark kitchen because, or a dark kitchen cabinet um, and a dark island because it's just gonna make the space overall too stark, just too dark. So I need to be able to warm it up by introducing a lot more um, warmer tones and more wood tones. So I've got ideas of what I want to do to kind of transform that island space and keep in mind that the top of my island is cement. So again, it's, it's dark, it's a little stark, so we need to warm it up a little bit. Let's go to Home Depot, let's get our supplies and let's see how this project turns out. All right, I'll see you in a few. So my initial idea was to use vinyl flooring and be able to either one, nail them down um, vertically going up the island or two, gluing them down. But seeing as I wanted something that would be removable, I decided um, that nailing them down wouldn't be best. Now this is the initial color, Walnut Ember that I was first considering. And as you can see, I actually already had them in my cart. But then I decided to continue kind of looking through Home Depot and I went over to the um, lumber department and I saw that they had shiplap. So I thought, okay, you know, I could also do shiplap. I would have to, you know, have them cut. So, and what I liked about this kind of shiplap is that it already has those little grooves in them so that they're very easy for you to connect them. So the only thing I would have to do besides, you know, cut them to size is, you know, stain them. So I decided to continue strolling along and then I came across these and I got super, super excited because they really resembled my inspiration pick, which I will show you in just a few minutes. Now, right next to that, they had this red faux brick pattern, which you could also use, you know, on a wall. And I thought it was funny because during my Ikea trip this last weekend, I saw that Ikea was also using this same type of faux brick pattern on the wall. So here it, you know, it's the perfect example of how you're able to use some of this in your home, whether for an accent wall or for, for whatever other kind of project you're looking at using something like this for. So these are the boards that we ended up picking up at Home Depot. So I had um, one of the associates there go ahead and cut these to size. Now I am going to be placing these on top of the bottom baseboard. Um, so that's why it looks like it's smaller, but it's going to be laying on top of that. And the one thing that I didn't account, we have some power outlets here. So what I'm doing right now is measuring out on the back of the board so that I can cut out um, where those are gonna go. So the reason why I decided to go with this one, and I'll go ahead and insert my inspiration pick, but I felt like the dark of the wall was going to be too, not only contrasting with the color of the cabinetry now, but it was just going to look too dark and I don't want the kitchen to look too dark because the cabinets are already black. So I figured the color of the wood would really complement 
the cabinetry really, really well. So I wanted to try this out, see if I liked it, and I'm not gonna go ahead and glue it down because just in case I decide to remove it, I can do that. So all I'm going to be using are these uh, one and a quarter um, inch finishing nails. So I have a one inch uh, drill bit. From there, I'm going to be using my little jigsaw here to cut everything else out. So uh, let's get this project started. Okay guys, so we have the first board up and I really like how it's going to look. I'm super excited because this was so inexpensive. Like, um, I believe I only purchased two boards and they were like $18 a board. And that is more than enough to cover all the way around the entire island. So super excited for that. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the outlets white. I might actually spray paint them or something. I don't know. But um, either way, I still have another outlet to do over here. So I've got to cut that out. And then I believe there's one other outlet on the other side. So I'm gonna finish those up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So all I'm doing now is just nailing it in to make sure that it stays. And um, I'm basically just kind of nailing it in like the darker areas because then it'll blend in and I won't have to like patch it up and then try and paint over it. So I've just done just a few around the edges, maybe one or two around the outlet just to keep it down. But that's basically it guys. I mean, all you have to do is just cut it to size and um, nail it in. That's it. I mean, you are more than free to add glue to it if you want, but that's if you like want to leave it in permanently. But you know, if I change my mind, then I can just remove it and that's that. So let me finish nailing this in and then I will give you a, um, just a closer look on how everything turned out. concludes our video for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this little DIY that made such a huge impact in our kitchen. If you like videos like this one, please make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe as I have other DIY and decorating videos in store for you. And make sure to hit that um, notification bell so that you are notified of when that video posts. I really hope you enjoyed this project. It was so easy, so inexpensive, but it made a world of difference. So I will leave you guys with that and I will see you guys very, very soon.